Hello and welcome to another episode of Jarmok Plays Pokemon Shield Blind Nuzlocke. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm kind of scared to face the tur the big turtle. We don't have, uh, I guess we have Parasol. But do you have anything that can actually like do some damage to this thing? Wait, he's rock and water, right? He's, he's gonna do a lot. Okay, let's go with this. Oh, yo, yo, <clears throat> got him. A dreadnaw. I wish we had Parasol for the first, uh, for the second, for that second gym battle fight. But you know, you this is what happens with a blind run. You know, you you think you have all of your, all the ground covered, and then you find out. You know, you're missing one specific thing. You're facing a rock water type Pokemon. <laughs> Rock Tomb? Uh-oh. I like that better than the X animation. If you remember, Rock Tomb was used to be like a rock, like five rocks dropped around a Pokemon and then the X, there's a huge red X that shows up. That's one of the laziest battle animations in my opinion. But, okay, <laughs> starting off on a positive note. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Hope you're doing okay. I like the grind cast last episode. I was actually quite a big fan of it. I got to talk through a couple things because it's it, it's one of those things like I can't be quite as uh, I guess can't is a it isn't the the word I'm looking for, but like I, I would prefer not being that energetically podcasty uh, when it comes to the lonely mountains downhill. You know, I, I try to find topics that are more like introspective and like you know just a little bit more. Uh, relaxed and calm or like even even further than that you know deep meditation type topics you know it's I that that's what that game puts me in the mood for and that's what I want to do while I'm playing that game uh, Pokemon on the other hand we're we're going into battle after battle it's just in your face action turn face goodness anime oh, man. okay sorry um, <laughs> you can tell nobody else is in the house right now. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna lose my voice. L speaking of which, let me uh, take a sip of my water. <clears throat> That's a gorgeous move. We can grind with this uh, with this water type Pokemon existence. Uh, is this thing also a water type? I don't really want to test it. Zink. Oh, hello, Corfish. <coughs> Just reminding me over and over of the last gym battle that we failed at, when Parasol could have saved the day. None of you guys told me. Honestly, if you guys told me, you probably, it probably would, probably would have been too late. <laughs> just like you or un any other regular human being, you can't just sit down and play 30 minutes of Pokemon every single day and then upload it right away. Um, that's just that's not how this is gonna fly. We we record like seven of these at once, <laughs> or however many we can at once. Uh, what kind of Pokemon are you? A Shellos? That gives me no indication of your type. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's start with a Razor Leaf. That sounds super effective to me. Ancient Power! Alright, one more Razor Leaf and you should be out of here. So are you like a rock type or are you... what are you? I still can't quite tell. Easiest way for me to find out if I were to catch it, but because Nuzlocke rules and also, I can't keep up with my other save file. <laughs> Leaf Tornado? 
That sounds amazing. This user attacks its target by encircling it in sharp leaves. This attack may also lower accuracy. Okay. It's lower ac- ah. Why are all the grass moves like super low accuracy? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, let's give it a sweet scent. We want this leaf tornado. You might be like, are you still grinding? I kind of am, because I just found out that, uh, that there's a bunch of water types in here, and Parasol needs some leveling up, so. It just happens to line up where I'd like to take this opportunity and train a little bit. Boom! Now, this isn't grindcast number two or anything like that. It's just, this is just a... Uh, this is just a little mini training session. Classes in session. Alright, Leaf Tornado, let's try it out. Snore. You can't do snore unless you got rest. Yo! <laughs> Get wrecked! Okay, we're, we're gaining experience a little bit slower now. A little bit slow one now. A little bit slow one now. Boom! Dun 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 Go on, Paracel. I know you can do it. Alright, let's do this thing. Leave Tornado. What is this? Special attack? Special defense! No! Still got yeeted in one move, so. Looks like it does nothing, Mr. Amnesia. It does that move doesn't even make any sense. How do you like you have amnesia and then you for, you forget how to be weak to special attacks? Like <laughs> <laughs> ground type moves. Do we have any ground type moves? I don't think we do. We got rock. Stun Fisk. Oh, this is the thing that destroyed us last time. I'm half tempted to bounce. Like, almost to the point of using a polka doll. And uh, by almost, I mean 100%. I'm out of here. Let's walk past this dude. Okay, hold on. Do we trust Parasol? We don't. <laughs> that was a pretty fast answer, huh? Do you want to fight or no? The steam power can send any opponent flying. Flying? Wait, so is it a... Uh, are you fire types or what? Drillbur. I think he's a ground type. I don't really have anything against that. Uh, I guess Parasol would have been perfect. <laughs> Hone Claws. Isn't that a, like a dark move or something? Attack Rose. Accuracy Rose. Oh boy. Let's go with Leaf Tornado. Rapid spin! Okay, I did nothing. That's fine. Leaf Tornado! Look at how good that move is! Let's go! Onyx? You're sending out a rock ground Pokemon against a grass type? Dude! Let's go. Let's go. Bring it. First of all, I don't know how Onyx is faster than us. Makes zero sense. Thank you. <laughs> You're wrecked, dude. Rail Staff, Vincent. Vincent. 
Rail staff, huh? I was about to say, like, I, I didn't know that that was an occupation, but also... I don't know of any mines nearby where I live. <laughs> it's not really... Not really a thing around here. A sand tomb, ooh. That's an intriguing move. Okay. Let's keep on going. Oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh boy, here he is. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of Carcoal hard, hard at work. We weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. But still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to Scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Look at those legs, though. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Oh. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. <laughs> wicked? <laughs> no wonder he's a fire type gym leader. More like ripped, shredded is the word you're looking for. He's got that George Clooney vibe. I'm just training uh, right up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon and the water type Pokemon in Galar Mine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Oh my goodness, this guy's hardcore. <laughs> Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motostoke. Get a good rest of the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Karkle. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. Oh. We're gonna be on fire tomorrow. The last line seemed uncharacteristic, but you know, he is like a, he's probably like a cheesy dad. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they can't beat Kabu. <laughs> what? <laughs> And now I'm getting all fired up, too. Do we have anything that can beat fire? And also, do we have another chance to catch some Pokemon? Come on. Please, somebody. Is this a different route? That Karkul from before. I guess I must have just, must have just been here on a job. You do know about Poke jobs by now, right? Poke Hua? Looks like there's no helping it. In that case, settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down on his old notebooks. Basically, you could have Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take Pokejobs from Rotomi at any Pokemon Center, so give it a look sometime. Now I'm cream crackered. I... I have no idea either. Um, <laughs> for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire gym leader Kapu better be ready because I'll be coming for him. Alright. Well, is all I care about is that this is a different route. Motostoke outskirts. It sounds like a different route to me. But just to double check, let me take a look at the uh, the town map. So, Motostoke, Riverbank. East Lake Axwell. This is the Wildlands, right? Okay. Yeah, we've been to Route 3. Okay, so this is way different. Yep. Okay, so let's find a water Pokemon. Because we've got we've got Rock, but he's also a bug type. And nobody else here can handle some fire types, to be honest with you. Oh, pseudo Wudo. That's so tempting, but we need we need a water type and stat. Come on, we don't have time for this. Young Pokemon trainer, won't you honor me with the battle? I don't. I don't want to. Madame Caroline. Caroline. Might find and get to get me. Is that who is that? The that's not Black Eyed Peas. It's uh. Somebody, somebody help me out here. <laughs> I was about to say Hoobastank. No, it's it's the other guys. The, the guys who tried to be Black Eyed Peas. What just happened? How dare you? 
those eyes though they're just like hey you're about to lose um but no i'm gonna swap back out because that that was lame another roar let me guess okay okay i was about to say if it was just pre-programmed to, to keep on using roar <laughs> that would have been frustrating <laughs> Swoo bad, okay. I can take care of that. Oh, look at how cute it is. The evolved form of Woo Bat. Totally better than Zubat. Definitely would sell way more plushies. And uh, that should be all you care about if you're the Pokemon company. Boom! The Swoobat has fainted. Cool. Let's get on out of here. You don't have any more Pokemon, do you? Please? Please say no? Thank you! Give me, you gotta give me like 10,000, right? 4,800! I'll take it. That's a lot. <laughs> I was exaggerating, but that's... That was still a lot. Okay, so there's pseudo Udos. Technically, I would settle for like a ground type. Muscle Feather. Why are there so many things that are just uh, on the floor here? Okay, we're back in Monostoke. Hold on. We gotta catch a Pokemon over here. <laughs> I didn't realize it would be that fast. Uh, let me try to get past this guy. Okay. <sighs> we don't want coughing. What is that thing? Amulet coin? I'm, I'm intrigued by this thing, and that's why I'm gonna go try for it. Oh, it's the psychic type thing! I'll take it. We don't have any psychic types. Uh, let's go with... Flame Charge. Hatena. Hatena sounds like, a, like an actual name. It doesn't sound like a Pokemon name. <laughs> heal Pulse. Does it heal himself? It heals me? Why are you healing me? <laughs> it's so nice! And then he uses Psybeam, okay. So it's like, alright, let me heal you up because this is gonna hurt. <laughs> it's like rude, but it's also like kind of nice. It's like a little bit patronizing, but I'll take it. Yo, let's go! Woo! Hatena was caught. Dr. Yi wants to learn Headbutt. Headbutt's nice. Definitely better than Quick Attack, so let's go with that. Although Quick Attack is really useful for catching Pokemon, now that I'm thinking about it. So. Oops! <laughs> Tennis data will be added to the Pokedex. The Calm Pokemon Psychic type. If this Pokemon senses a strong emotion, it will run away as fast as it can. It prefers areas without people. You and me, brother. Okay, so we got... Hot Tenno. That's a Warframe reference for any anybody that cares. Hot Tenno. Oh, no, I got a better one. I got a better name! <laughs> 10 out of 10! 10. 10, uh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let me go straight to the po Pokemon Center before I forget. Oh! 10. Uh, 
10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You're like, it's not that great of a name. You know what? You come up with something better and I'll, um, I'll oblige. You know, these names are extremely interchangeable. Are there two Pokemon centers in this town? That's pretty egregious if you ask me. Okay, so you. Rate a nickname. Hot Tenno. Select. I can do a better name than that. Alright, what would be the new nickname? Uh, Tenada. Tenada Ten. <laughs> no, I'm kid. <laughs> oh man, I got too much amusement out of that. Okay, what are we supposed to do in here? I have a slight inkling. Oh, this is probably the 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 gym leader, the the whatever, the gym battle fight person. The the gym where we were all introduced was probably where we also fight him. Because why would they have a different gym for that? That makes no sense. Okay, so what are we thinking here? I'm going back here because I kind of actually do want to face this guy. That's just... I snuck up on him, though. We got the preemptive attack. Did he call himself a copper? <laughs> Police Officer Raymond. There, bro. I, I don't have a... Everybody loves Raymond impression. Uh, but a Growlithe, okay. That's, uh, that's, that, that makes sense. Okay, so let's do a headbutt. Yeah, that's definitely your foot, but I'll take it. Critical hit? What are we doing? What? Who lets you have critical hits? Take that, Growlithe. Okay. You got, you got any more? Sound like Dave Chappelle, you know, scratching his neck. You got, are you got any more Growlithe? <laughs> okay, cool. Sounds good to me. That was actually a lot easier of a fight than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah. Cool. Let's save in front of this gym and call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to watch future episodes, I'll hit that sub button. It helps out a lot. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. See you.